What makes The Bad Guys such a fantastic movie? In this video, I want to dive into what really sets it apart and why it's considered a masterpiece. One of the most exciting things about this film is how it takes familiar villain characters and gives them a fresh twist. The story revolves around a group of criminals who fit classic villain roles, but they're anything but typical. We have Mr. Wolf, the slick leader who's charming and clever. Then there's Mr. Snake, the cynical safecracker who always has a sarcastic comment ready. Mr. Shark is the master of disguises, while Mr. Piranha is the chaotic muscle of the group, and Mrs. Tarantula is the tech genius who keeps everything running smoothly. Each of these characters adds something special to the film, making it truly enjoyable. What really stands out is how the movie flips these classic archetypes on their heads with humor, heart, and depth. Instead of just being one-dimensional bad guys, these characters are relatable and even likable. They're portrayed as misunderstood individuals trying to navigate their way through life, which makes them much more interesting than your average villains. Personally, I have to say that my favorite character is definitely Mr. Wolf. He's not just the smooth-talking thief leading the group, he starts to question whether being bad is all there is to life. His character development throughout the film is really compelling, as he and the others grapple with their desire to be good and do better in the world. This struggle adds a touching layer to the story that balances out the humor perfectly. The film does an excellent job of blending these characters' villainous traits with their potential for goodness, creating a narrative that's much deeper than your typical crime caper. The interactions between Mr. Wolf and Mr. Snake are definitely some of the highlights of the movie. I bet if I blindfolded you, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between a skunk and a guinea pig. Wrong! Snakes have impeccable taste buds. I can taste air. Air? Yes! Their banter is not only hilarious but also really clever, making for some of the best moments on screen. The dialogue throughout the film is fantastic. It doesn't rely on the same old jokes or tired cliches that you often see in comedies. Instead, it brings fresh and unexpected humor that resonates with a wide audience. For instance, there's a scene where Mr. Shark, despite being the most believable character in disguise, hilariously tries to pass himself off as a human during one of their heists. While The Bad Guys is primarily an exciting heist adventure filled with fun and thrills, it also digs into deeper themes like identity, morality, and the choices we make in life. Mr. Wolf's internal struggles are at the heart of the story as he begins to reflect on his life and the decisions he's made. He starts to question whether being a bad guy is really worth it and if that's truly the right way to live. This exploration gives the film an emotional weight that elevates it beyond just another action comedy. It's not just about the laughs, there's a meaningful message about second chances and redemption woven throughout. Watching this gang of criminals trying to turn their lives around is genuinely heartwarming. Even though there are plenty of laugh-out-loud moments, there are also touching scenes that balance everything out perfectly, creating a mix of both humor and heart that keeps you engaged. Another standout aspect of the movie is its animation. The visuals are simply stunning, the characters are designed with this slick almost comic book-like style that makes everything pop on screen. The vibrant colors and dynamic movements contribute to an overall awesome viewing experience that draws you in even more. The movie also features some really memorable supporting characters, like Diane Foxington, the governor with a mysterious past. After Mr. Wolf, she's definitely one of my favorites in the film. Diane adds a lot of depth to the story and creates some interesting dynamics with the main crew. Her relationship with Mr. Wolf is particularly captivating, and their chemistry is one of the standout aspects of the movie. She plays a crucial role in challenging the bad guys to rethink their choices and consider whether they really want to continue down their current path. On the flip side, we have the villain, Professor Marmalade, who is a guinea pig philanthropist that seems to represent everything the bad guys are not. He's your typical villain who pretends to be good but is actually quite terrible underneath it all. His character serves as a fine example of how appearances can be deceiving. The interactions he has with the crew lead to some of the film's most thought-provoking moments, 
prompting questions about whether good and bad are as clear-cut as they seem. The pacing of the movie is another strong point. It doesn't waste any time getting into the action. From heists to car chases and daring escapes, there's always something happening that keeps you on the edge of your seat. Each moment feels more exciting than the last, and this is largely thanks to the gang's over-the-top personalities during these action scenes. Their antics make everything even more interesting and fun to watch, ensuring that there's never a dull moment throughout the film. In essence, The Bad Guys is fantastic because it combines important life lessons with humor and excitement. It shows us that everyone has the capacity for change, and when we look past our initial judgments, we can discover the good in others, and even in ourselves. This powerful message, along with all the entertaining elements of the film, makes it a truly remarkable watch that resonates with a lot of people, and that's what makes this movie so good.